Meantime, a memorial continues to grow outside the Thompson Center, the near the scene of yesterday's shooting. All day workers downtown dealt with remnants of shock and rattled nerves. Here's CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas. Outside the Thompson Center today, flowers, prayers, and a cross in memory of Chicago Police Commander Paul Bauer. Man, that's that's crazy, man. I work right there and it's like to get killed. Man, that's 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 crazy. I don't understand that. Bauer was shot to death in this stairwell in the middle of the day, leaving people who work nearby with frayed nerves and aching hearts. I wasn't that much scared. I was more concerned about him. My, my mind all day yesterday stayed on the officer and his family. Well, it's shocking that anyone would do that uh, to, to anyone, and including a police officer. That's, that's horrible. Signs of support for Chicago police hung in windows across the street as officers below questioned workers as they arrived. I was going inside to say better than this cop that came up to me and asked me to have I ever sent this photo of this guy. But people like Forte say they won't let the frightening day change their routines. I can't let the terrorism that occurs in our city kind of terrorize me as well. So I took my walk as I usually do when I came over here to say a prayer for him. Well, there's still fear and a lot of anger about this shooting, but the word we heard over and over today was appreciation. Appreciation for police who, Rob and Erica, put their lives on the line every day. Yes, those vigils, I'm sure, will grow over the coming days as we continue to honor him. A lot of love out there for his family. All right, Roseanne, thanks.